Now to that dramatic new video inside the Tennessee Cave Rescue. ABC News has obtained exclusive footage showing the moment that trapped diver was saved. Okay, we're coming. It takes a moment for the other cavers to notice there's a problem. Do you want back? On his first attempt to the tightest portion of the entrance, All right. one of the cavers has become stuck in the passage. These kinds of maneuvers can be dangerous if the caver is alone. But with the team present, assistance is always close by. I will. The caver is wedged in a small passage, hands down and at I his side. Move. He now oh, has almost no here. leverage to move I himself come free. Here. Help. Calvin moves himself into position where he can pull his team member by his own. Hey, I'm Slopcore, and Caves of Cud might be one of the most enticing and confusing video games that I have ever come across. Having been inspired by the classic roguelikes of previous days, it genuinely looks and feels like something straight out of the 90s, and its user interface is just as easily navigable as one from that time period as well. It is also, like Baldur's Gate 3, a perfect example of why one should not be quick to pass judgment on a game just for being in early access, and that just because a game is in early access, does not always mean that one cannot still expect a well-crafted experience that the developers are still working on regularly. Because here we have a game which, even after almost 10 years, still sees frequent updates, a weekly announcement post, and an extremely dedicated and active community who even take full advantage of the game's internal mod support. Out of all the video gamers in the world, there might only be a small handful of people that this game is for, but the developers are making damn sure that they get it. And even if the game isn't your thing stylistically, you've got to admit it's always nice to see such a healthy node of the real niche indie genres thriving. I liken it to the bygone text-based adventures, arcade-style high-score games, and shoot-'em-ups of the past, who fell to hardware advancements and who, in retrospect, seem to lack some depth. However, you might be fair in saying Caves of Cud is lacking in anything except depth. Just opening this game is enough to blindside you with a dozen new concepts, outrageously unintuitive options and mechanics, made up words, and snippets of lore which make you feel like the Titanic eyeing down the iceberg. Caves of cum. So these are the options. I do, I do like to go over the options in games before I play them. Uh... Draw reachability maps when generated. Uh, okay. The game may definitely have a quick and sharp learning curve, but before long, even I was ready to learn how to start a new campaign. I starting attributes access, access to cybernetics. 20 bonus skill points each level, uh, bonus resistances based on arcology of origin. May rebuke robots. I uh, sure. Melee fighter and extreme bruiser starts with, starts with carbide hand bones. Um, uh, let's try the gardener. Starting locations. Joppa is recommended for new players. The Salt Marsh Village. Start with a blood-stained neck ring. Wow. Here I was thinking that the hard part was over, but little did I know that it was only just beginning. Press space. All right. Ah. Uh, on the horizon, Cud's jungles strangle chrome steeples and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud-ribboned sky. Rest space and then press F1 for help. I don't think this is enough. I don't think words are gonna help me here. Click the screen. Oh, hey, that's me. Okay, that's me. I understand something now. Is that my name there? Oh, obeyed Ka. That's us. That's me. Who do you think you are? I am. 
Would you like to walk the nearest stairway down? Sure. There are no stairways leading downward nearby. Okay. All right, we can talk to this guy. Mehmet. Live and drink, friend. May you find shade in Jopa. What can you tell me about Jopa? You would be wise to speak with Elder Irudad. Look for his hut to the north. And begin water ritual one dram of water. You share your water with Mehmet and begin the water ritual. Your reputation with the villagers of Jopa increased by 100 to negative 40. Do they still don't like me? Because they despise Mehmet, your reputation with worms decreased by 100 to negative 575. Oh, the worms really don't like me. <laughs> okay. Live and drink water, brother. All right, we've ended the water ritual. What does he have to trade? What do I have? I have 37 wooden arrows. I have a chem cell. Uh, defoliant grenade, freeze grenade, torch. All honey injector, love injector, rubber gum injector. What the box of crayons? Uh, uh okay. <laughs> All right, we went on an adventure. We took some arrows, we took some drugs, some grenades, a bunch of syringes, and some crayons. I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this game. I think that helps. I think that helps a little bit. All right, uh, live and drink, friend. All right, well, I guess let's do some exploring. Hopefully we don't find any worms. All right, well, that dude, the dude said the village guy is to the north that I should go see. Is this him? It's, this is him. Okay, Elder Irudad. It was here that the village elder would tell me more about Jopa and the precious water vine that can pretty much only grow there. Among other background information, he also provides a lot of context into what exactly Cud is. Cud is a strange and terrifying mesa, mesa to the northeast. Her tainted rivers breed life in all its motley forms. Her poisoned jungles shelter priceless relics of a, forgot of a forgotten past. But that is just the half of it. For Cud's most precious treasures and her most hideous children lie within the innumerable chrome caverns beneath the scarlet loam. Cool. To ply those silver hollows, a spry adventurer's dream. The years have wisened me beyond such foolish ambitions, but you be not deterred so. Okay, what is there work here? The moisture farmers are having trouble with cave vermin. Speak with Mehmet by the water vine patch. And Mehmet would tell me about Red Rock Cave, just to the north of the village, in which, if I wanted to help them, I was to go and find one of the critters responsible for eating their water vines, and bring its corpse back to the village elder as proof. And so, with a small understanding of some of the controls, I felt like I knew just what to do. I guess we're just gonna go north. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's a graveyard. Oh, that must be where the people of that village bury their dead. In memory of Naimumer, forgot about a grenade. <laughs> Shanked in retaliation for stealing from Equins. Killed in a duel over a grit gate recoiler. God, this seems like a pretty violent town. Gunned down by a snapjaw brute. What is going on in this, this little village? And as I ventured into the wilderness outside Jopa, I would realize for myself just how dangerous it was. Why is this so frightening? Is that a monkey? Hey, you come back here. I'd like to speak to you. Oh, he's attacking the fish. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. There's another one there. Okay, let's just keep going. This one attacking me? What are you doing to that guy? The, the albino ape is engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat and is too busy to have a conversation with you. Well, I'll be on my way then. 
and right after that close call with the gorillas, I would then learn to engage in combat myself. Re three, I don't know what that means. Okay, well, so can I just fire at him? What does fire do? F. Oh, hey, you hit it uh, with a wooden arrow. This guy is not dead. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. We gained 10 a e XP. Yo, let's go, dude. Okay. <laughs> he's dead too. Easy game. There's two more. Jesus Christ. I'm at nine health. Fire. Okay, he's dead. That missed. That missed. Oh, God. Okay. I don't think I see any more. Do I get health back? It's just slowly coming back. There was a guy that was right there. He's chasing me through the water. Fuck off, dude. He refuses to speak to me. I'm trying to shoot him with a with a bow and arrow. I'm not trying to speak to him. Well, thankfully we haven't run into any worms yet, I guess. But as it turns out, of all of the dangerous animals who don't like me for some reason in this game, worms were the least of my worries. He hits me for nine. Yeah, let's get the hell away from this crocodile. Oh, there's two here. Dude, fuck off. No! A croc dies 75 exp dude let's go holy shit you discover the layer of egla costina legendary dra giant dragonfly i don't know if that's a good thing over here that is that up here somewhere i can't see it what are those what is going on bear hostile and tough the grizzly bear is huge and wild he has devoured the infant child. The infant child is unaware. He has been eaten by the bear. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck, there he is. Um, can I hurt him a lot? Fails to penetrate the wet bear's armor. Doesn't say he's wearing armor. Let's just slowly back away. Maybe we shouldn't have come here. Discover the layer of cut Lil Tetio. Legendary croc. Oh, dude, we're fucked. <laughs> we are in the lair of the legendary croc. We probably don't want to be here. Star orchid saliva pools at the tips of its digging fangs and drips onto pallid lead thi leg things. It shudders in the capture of some pristine ecstasy lost to space and time. And it lets out a proud and piercing whine. Got 28 health. Yeah, we we probably don't want to be in the layer of the legendary crocodile. I sprint. Does that make running away easier? Yeah, it does. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> no, I'm I'm yeah, I'm fleeing in terror. I gotta get out of here. Okay. There's a, there's a what's a horned chameleon? Oh god. Salty, bloody croc. Oh god. Uh, I'm trying to get away. You die. You were bitten to death by a salamander, bro. And so came a tragic end to my quest for. Wait. Uh. Uh. Wait. What was my quest again?